Here with Marlene Blessing, who's the editor-in-chief of Beadwork Magazine. And we're talking about symmetry today. And you have something that's pretty interesting that you want to show us. I know. I'm going to take us into the land of asymmetry, and it's going to be a really <laughs> simple transition because most people really love to do symmetrical things. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to get your go feet out wet of the today. Box. Yeah, we're going to exactly. go out of the box. And actually, we have a great design to work from. It's by Danielle Fox, and it's in her new book, Simply Modern Jewelry. Mm -hmm. And you see the version over here, which has, you know, it's really girly. It's mm -hmm. sweet. Um, it has some themed elements at the end, the flower, a little bee charm, a little bee clasp. Mm -hmm. And that ties everything all together. So I've made my own version of this project. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a little something. It's always a little different. And my look is a little, it's a little earthier, mm -hmm. a little more gravity to it. And mm -hmm. um, the stones I use, and I work with what I have on hand, mm -hmm. so I see what's in my stash. And I just happen to have these great chrysoprase stones mm -hmm. that are this kind of mottled green with these wonderful little peach highlights. And Beautiful. They just, I just Beautiful. love them. I mm -hmm. just love them. And I mixed um, little rough faceted copper beads and some onyx beads and um, and then we have for our themed elements slightly different theme but similar it's all about nature so there's a little bird nest charm which is really cute and a great little bird charm okay. and then we've got this that's fun let's so, do it yeah <laughs> so we're ready to start it's so so simple and really it begins with stringing straight simple stringing and this mm -hmm. is just a very regular pattern that we've got here we have um, what about the bead wire well the beading wire is a medium sized beading mm -hmm. wire so it's about an 18 okay. and you know you can just see it's just one element at a time and mm -hmm. um, Obviously, one something is going to be heavy enough, depending on the beads that you're using. You do, and this is, you know, this mm -hmm. is going to fit through the size beads that we're using on this. And so you have the beads are you have the chrysoprase beads that you talked about before. We're with going the black. for onyx, uh -huh. copper, onyx, chrysoprase, that. mm -hmm. and that's our pattern. And then we have a little stopper on here that we put on here to make sure that things don't fall off. You can see all the ingredients right here. That's mm -hmm. it. This yeah. is a simple recipe. And I like that the beads themselves are asymmetrical, too. They are, they, and they, they too have an earthy flavor just mm -hmm. because of the way Very they're organic. cut. Very organic. Very mm -hmm. organic. And then over here, we have our almost finished bracelet. And here's where we get asymmetrical. And asymmetry is just, it's so easy to dip into. It mm -hmm. really is. Um, and I happen to have a really great another nest, just like the other one. It's so pretty. What are the odds? <laughs> what are the odds of that? And I love mixing metals. So here we've got one that is, it's called Shibuichi. Mm -hmm. And it's a process where a little bit of gold is applied to um, sterling silver. And then it's it, beautiful. It's finished. finished. To it. mm -hmm. Yeah, it has a patina yes. that gives it this rich, rich finish. And then we're going to string. It's as simple as stringing the onyx bead. Then we're going to string the copper. <laughs> I mean, could it get any easier? And then to put this charm on, and because I want it to hang down just a little bit, it mm -hmm. already has a jump ring on it, but I'm going to put a second one on. Okay. And um, all I need to do at this point is take my flat nose pliers and my needle nose pliers, open this up, again, twist, I know you love working with jump rings. I love jump rings. <laughs> they are such a cool design element and, you know. They add a lot to it. They, they add really a do. lot and then just close it up. So we have that hanging now. Mm -hmm. And really, it's the last two ingredients. Now, what I managed to find, and it wasn't easy, so you don't have to go this route, mm -hmm. but I had some little copper crimp tubes. Oh. They're two millimeter. So I thought, well, to let's keep just the color coordination. keep mm -hmm. the copper going. And then I love this little clasp that I found because I didn't have, I don't have any two clasps that are the same. Mm -hmm. But this one has a little rutilated um, piece of quartz in here. And rutilate, by rutilated, those are these. The needles. Th the little needles in here. Mm -hmm. They're called rutiles, I guess. I, all I, done by nature. I, <laughs> all done by nature. Nature put it there for us. And it kind of looks like little twigs or little pieces of straw. So it ties into the bird, the nest, you know, everything that's here. Mm -hmm. And then we can just finish this up. We're going to have another, a second bracelet to wear. I think 
maybe this would be perfect for a wedding party. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Could have kind of matching bracelets <laughs> or at least sister bracelets that are really, really close. Yeah, it's good if you have a daughter or something to make a good project to work on with someone. I think know? my nieces might be watching this show and they'll be talking to me about this <laughs> soon. So I'm just snugging up this crimp. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I get it as close as possible to the last bead and sometimes the snugging takes a little playing. Okay. I guess we don't have to get it perfect, do we? But here we go. That's and it. then just use our crimping tool. And you take this to the back channel. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it creates two little channels. It's like a valley. <laughs> it is. And then you round it at the front of the plier and press it down and close it up nice and tidy. There we go. Perfect. And then all we need after that is the flush wire cutters. So we get it nice and clean. And look, we have our finished bracelet. Perfect. And it's so pretty. It is pretty, and I, I love the asymmetry. It's gorgeous. I love it well, too. Well, I like that you've taken that same concept and brought some variations of it too. I so did. So once you get started. <laughs> I did. And I'll show you both of these. Um, mm -hmm. The one with the lucite green beads and, and um, you know, the cream color beads and then the little flowers is just, a again, another putting your toe in the water because mm -hmm. it's subtle. And the asymmetry comes in the form of a flower that's right here at the beginning mm -hmm. that doesn't repeat again later on. It's just right here. So that's really easy asymmetry. Mm -hmm. And then the bracelet next to it, now we're, it's go crazy asymmetry. <laughs> we have lots of different sizes, ingredients, colors. That was fun. Yeah. Thank you, Marlene. You're welcome. Well, Katie Hacker is up next.